Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today I'm going to be doing a time lapse and a review of the Marion Bright 550 piece Seiko puzzle. With Before we get into this puzzle time lapse, I want to apologize to you guys for not uploading yesterday. I just had some personal stuff going on that I just was not able to film and upload a video. This one was kind of just lucky that we finished this puzzle in enough time for me to upload today's video so i hope you guys don't mind that it is a little bit later than they usually are but without further ado let's get on with the time lapse <music> So what did we think about this puzzle? We really did enjoy it. It was a fairly easy puzzle. Definitely was not extremely hard, which was very, very nice. I liked how it was a different type of collage puzzle. We have done the Christmas cookies collage puzzles. We have done the stamps and we've done a few others, but we've never seen or done a ornament one. So that was quite cool that it was different and like I said for a few other of my videos just not the normal kind of Christmas tree and Santa puzzle also I like that it was 550 pieces just a little bit more than 500 because 500s do take us not very long at all so it was nice to kind of get a little bit more of our money worth out of it it also was not very hard to sort as you can see there is very defiant different colors, so you're able to just sort them out, but just make sure that you have a, bo a lot of box tops or a lot of cups so you can sort them all out fairly easy and not have to resort throughout the whole entire puzzle. So here's a section of the puzzle picked up. As you can see, like normal Seiko pieces, the pieces don't stick extremely well together. The most that you can kind of move around is about three, but they are pretty easy to slide around. 
Here is a section of the puzzle that I took apart and clicking them in, you'll see how when I click the borders in, the pieces on the left kind of click out so they don't click in fairly well. Here are two pieces. They are a little bit glossy and not super thick. I definitely think we have had thicker Seco puzzles. They're on the normal brown cardboard. Also, their pieces are kind of vibrant. I loved this blue color. The detail on the pieces is pretty awesome. It is very defined. I really like the detail. I thought they did an awesome job on that. There was a lot of puzzle dust that is about a quarter size, so Seiko definitely needs to work on that. So on my puzzle hardness scale, I would only give this a one. It was not hard at all. I think that's the first one I've ever given. And you just were able to sit there and just put piece in after piece after piece after piece after piece, which was extremely nice. But I do have to say for this puzzle, we did have to use the picture. That was kind of different for us. We usually can just go off the front of the box. But on this Seiko puzzle, the image is cut off on the side. So... You can see here they do have it right here, um, but it was cut off. So that made it kind of hard with this one. But once we pulled out the picture, there's no reason why it needs to get harder than a one. So will we be keeping this puzzle? The answer is no, we are not. We did enjoy it, but there's just others that we think that we enjoy more. And also because we had to pull out the picture, we did not like that. So this one is already up on our Mercari. Our Mercari is Ings1234. Head over there and purchase this puzzle or we still have a bunch of others. I don't know if it's you guys or just the puzzle community. We have been selling quite a few of our puzzles. So thank you so much if you're a viewer and you have bought a few of ours. We really enjoy getting to know everybody and shipping those out and selling them so we can buy even more puzzles to continue to make these puzzle videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future 12 days of puzzles and puzzle content. Also, while you're at it, make sure you head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling Through Life, and give that a follow because we have been trying to post some behind the scenes stuff on our Instagram and all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye.